Philippine cuisine, I've heard that it's um, quite diverse. I heard the, um, the street food's incredible. Um, and I heard it's quite sweet. Mmm! This is really good. This is what I'm not going to have for breakfast. It's almost like a pancake. It's almost like an airy crumpet as well. This actually reminds me of um, when I was younger, when my, my grandmother used to make, to make uh, some bread, some toast butter, and sprinkle sugar, and we used to toast it, right? So the flavors is actually quite similar. So it reminds me of my childhood. Uh, mm. okay. That's just yeah. just melting your mouth, isn't it? Yeah. It's so I cook uh, very slow. Slow. It's like a stew. Yeah. It's a blood stew. Yeah. You can definitely taste the the richness of the the pig's blood. Yeah. I like yeah. it. It's it's strong. Yeah. Can I just open it up? It's quacking away. Mmm. <laughs> Quite, oh. healthy, quite healthy. Mm. Uh, That's really good. Okay. Balut. Very nice. A little bit bigger than I was expecting. The, 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 the duck. <laughs> quite developed, right? Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's like eating a fluffy cloud. But that aroma of the um, the banana leaf, you can really taste it, right? Mmm. Okay. Oh, actually very, very, very gentle, very delicate, isn't it? It's actually um, a hot, hot soup, but it's so fresh, right? Like summer. Mmm. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I love this style of food. It's comfort food, but so elegant. Quite light. Mm. You have the option. Favorite for me uh, today, uh -huh. so far. Actually very similar to a dish in uh, Vietnam called Tit Kho. Great, great balance with the soy and the vinegar. Not too much vinegar, but complements the, the saltiness, right? Good crackling skin. Mmm. I feel warm. Mm. Yeah. I feel loved. Uh, yeah. Mmm. Wow. It's like running through a field, a field of jasmine flower. So after all of the the food crawl, of yeah. all the dishes I've eaten, yes. the heaviness of the dishes as well. This is just heaven. everything. What a great finish. And not overly sweet. Not too sweet either. Very subtle. Mmm. Oh, it's divine. It really is divine. I think today um, was great, you know, I felt like I had a real local um, dining experience. So, have more of an understanding of what Hanoi food is all about. The diversity, the diversity of Filipino food, which is great, you know, it's not just all about adobo, right? <laughs> I learned about um, sinigang, uh, I learned about all the beautiful pork dishes, that I really enjoyed the ice cream, beautiful jasmine, floral, perfume ice cream was really great. And uh, yeah, I just loved seeing the different aspects and the regionality of Hanoi uh, food. Um, I think I, I, my favorite was the one I was most surprised about, which was the, the guava sinigang, right? What I loved about it was uh, after eating a lot of the, uh, the slow braised pork dishes and the, the heavier dishes, the sinigang was really cool, it was a really light, um, elegant flavors. Uh, with that fruit, fruit in there as well, a bit of tamarind really lifted my palate and um, that was a standout for me. I really enjoyed that.